Greetings, Urban Village Church. My name is D'Angelo Smith, and I am privileged to serve you as your site pastor of High Park Woodlawn and Wicker Park locations. Let's just jump right in into the sermon. Um, this is the first sermon for our popcorn gospel. Our popcorn gospel is where we will be exploring um, different movies and seeing how our values um, and what they are calling us to, the good news. Um, and, and also, you know, how do we live more boldly? How do we live more inclusive? And how do we live more relevant um, in these times? So today we have In the Heights, In the Heights, the movie musical. Um, just fitting for me, right? Like a theater, musical, I love it all. Um, so we have this, this, this movie, right? I don't, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna spoil the movie just a little bit, so I'm sorry. Um, but it's a great movie to still watch. The plot line, right, is about community building. And, and we are opened up to, uh, Us, Usnevi, Usnevi, um, who coincidentally, right, is named after a U.S. Navy uh, ship when his mother sees the U.S. Navy ship, Us Navy. <laughs> so, um, Us Navy is telling these children about the story on a block inside Washington Heights. Washington Heights is a neighborhood in New York City. And so you, you're, you're, you're getting the story of this block. Um, and we see, you know, Usnevi uh, having a bodega, which is like a corner store here, a bodega. And he's running this bodega with um, who he calls his cousin, who's not related to him, right? Um, Sonny. And then they have a, a Abuela, which is grandmother in the community, who has no children, but they name her as their grandmother. And so we see all of these family stories unfolding. And um, in the midst of these stories being unfolded, what we see is things coming up against them. We see gentrification happening right with um, new stores moving in and prices raising up we see um, the beauty salon um, owner who has to move because she is bought out right she can't afford to stay there so she has to move to a place where she can afford it we have um, you know Nia coming back from Stanford seeing her father struggle to pay her tuition um, and and so you know making all of these sacrifices for her to go to Stanford and she's feeling the pressure of that we see uh, so much right we see Usnevi, Usnevi um, learn more about his father's business back in Puerto Rico and he sees the devastation of it um, because it hasn't been taken care of and the hurricane hit it and, and he wants to go back and reestablish his father's business. His father and mother passed away. And so now we, we see all of these little stories unfolding and we see the, the, the oppression that is happening within the community. That sounds so familiar here, right? Even, even Sonny um, being undocumented immigrant, right? And that story unfolding. And so alongside our text, right, in Jeremiah, 29 4 through 7 we see you know uh, 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 Jeremiah saying in, in, in the voice of God you know saying that you have come into a land a new land right after um, being refugees right from another land um, coming into this new land now be fruitful, multiply, marry, and make good of the land, 
right? And most people preach about this as being good to the city, good to the land. But yet these people who were refugees had systems up against them, just like the people in, in the Heights had systems up against them, right? And it's a the the strong commitment, right? They have a strong commitment to the hard work of community making, right? They have to do this hard work and we have to explore what is this hard work for us in our lives? Like, how do we show up as Usnevi showed up for Sunny by giving Sunny the winning lottery ticket that uh, Obuela had all along and when she died, this is what she gave, right? So, to Gustavo as a gift and Gustavo Usnevi started to give this to um, Sonny for his document paperwork, right? And so we come to questions in this sermon. How do we show up? Like Abuela showed up and Usnevi showed up and even Sonny showing up for Usnevi in the bodega every single day or or how the bodega showed up for the community and giving ice cream out to the community. How do we show up for our UBC um, members? How do we show up in our own community? How do we become good neighbors? How does it what does it mean? What does it mean to commit to imperfect, unchosen places and make life out of hardship, right? We see in these two stories, right? The story in Jeremiah, the, the uh, Hebrews, and the story in, um, in the Heights, people coming up against hardship, people being in a land that they really didn't want to be in, but they had to be there and systems coming up against them. So how do you, what practices do you put in your life to allow for you to be a strong, committed community? How do you build that community? How can we do this, right? And do this for others. How can we build community for others and make sure others face less hard choices like Gustavo U Usnevi I don't know why I keep wanting to say Gustavo Usnevi did for Sunny where in our lives are we planting gardens for others we see community building, the commitment to community building show up and in, in the heights. And I believe the good news for today and for us to be challenged with is how are we building community as we return back to in-person worship? This is a time to think about building community, showing up for each other in many different ways because we will enter that space, right? with grief, heaviness, and also celebration and happiness. So where are we right now? We are in a space of building community once more again. So let's be like the people in Washington Heights, showing up for each other each and every day. And to contemplate how we show up or how we live into the systems that are oppressing those who are the least, who are the most vulnerable of us, who have the least privilege of us. How do we go against, how do we go against that? oppression or how do we push against how do we live into community so as we take these moments of silence think about how you will build community this week